Let's do problem number 28. By hand, find all real solutions in exact form for the following equation. So we have the square root of x plus 7 minus the square root of 2x, and it's all equal to 1. So we have an equation with two square roots. So whenever you have an equation with two square roots, you want to solve for one of the square roots and square both sides. So we'll start by adding the square root of 2x to both sides. So plus square root of 2x plus square root of 2x. So these cancel. So we have the square root of x plus 7. And that's equal to 1 plus the square root of 2x. OK, so now we're in a good place. We can square both sides. So parentheses, and we'll square this, and parentheses, and we'll square this. When you square the left-hand side, these square roots go away, so you get x plus 7. And one way to multiply this out is to simply write it twice. So I'll do it that way. So 1 plus square root 2x, parentheses 1 plus square root 2x. All right, so now we'll just distribute all of this. So we have x plus 7 equals, so we have 1 times 1, that's going to give us 1. And then 1 times the square root of 2x is simply the square root of 2x. Then we go to the next one, square root of 2x times 1 is the square root of 2x. And the square root of 2x times the square root of 2x is just 2x. So you just basically take the 1, multiply it by both of the terms, and then take the square root of 2x and multiply it by both of the terms. So we have x plus 7 equals 1. So we have the square root of 2x plus the square root of 2x. So we have two of them. So this becomes 2 square root 2x, right? There's invisible ones here. It's really 1 plus 1, so it's 2. The square root of 2x is just there, plus 2x. All right, we have to solve now for the square root of 2x. So I guess we can subtract 1, subtract 1, subtract 2x, subtract 2x. And let's see what happens. We end up with negative x plus 6 equals 2 square root of 2x. Good stuff. So we could divide by 2, but that's going to create a fraction. So let's go ahead and just um, square both sides uh, now. But before we do, it might be easier to multiply everything by negative 1. Because when you do that, you basically just switch all the signs. Watch. x minus 6 equals minus 2 square root of 2x. So basically just put a negative here, it changes the sign. Put a negative here, it changes the sign. Put a negative here, it changes the sign. So we multiplied both sides by negative 1. The reason I did that is because now it's a little bit easier to multiply this out. So you square both sides. Again, we have an x minus 6 squared, so we can write it twice. So x minus 6, and then x minus 6 equals. Then here you just square each piece. So you square the negative 2, so you get 4. And then you square the square root of 2x, so you just get 2x. Let's go ahead and multiply this out. x times x is x squared x times negative 6 is negative 6x. The inside is also negative 6x. And then the last, negative 6 times negative 6 is 36. And this is equal to 4 times 2x is 8x. Long problem. Um, so let's see, x squared, negative 6x minus 6x is negative 12x. Wow, plus 36 equals 8x. And so now we can finally subtract the 8x and set everything equal to 0, right? So we end up with x squared minus 20x plus 36 equals 0. So if you get to this point, um, it should factor. So if it doesn't factor, um, there's a mistake somewhere, right? These problems are all rigged. Um, they're supposed to be nice, right? You're, you're going to get nice answers. So I don't know how to factor it yet, but I know it's going to look like this. Okay, so let's think. We need two numbers that um, multiply to 36, 
and add to negative 20. So what multiplies to 36? Oh, oh, 2 and 18, right? And they're both negative, so negative 2 and negative 18. Because those add to negative 20, right? So we get two possible answers, 2 and 18. Now because this is an equation with square roots, we're supposed to check our answers. Answers that don't check are called extraneous solutions. We want the actual answers. We want the ones that check. So what I'm going to do now is rewrite the original question and then plug in the numbers into the original to check. Let's start by checking 2. So check 2. So everywhere there's an x, we're going to put the 2. So it'll be the square root of 2 plus 7 minus the square root of 2 times 2. And this should be equal to 1, right? We don't know. I should put a question mark here, but we'll find out. This is the square root of 9 minus the square root of 4. This is 3 minus 2, and that's definitely equal to 1. Yes, so 2 is one of the answers. So now we should check 18. So we're going to replace all of the x's with 18's. So let's check 18. Use a different color. All right, so we have the square root of 18 plus 7 minus the square root of 2 times 18, and this should be equal to 1, if it's an answer. So I'll put a question mark there. 18 plus 7 is 25 minus the square root of 36. I don't think that's going to be equal to 1. Um, the square root of 25 is 5, and the square root of 36 is 6. Yes, this fails. So no, does not work, does not work. So 18 is not an answer, no good. So the only answer to this question is x equals 2. So, wow, it took almost seven minutes, uh, kind of a longer problem. Um, I hope that helped. Hope it made sense.